Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on protecting Excel worksheets and workbooks. Cells, worksheets, and workbooks can all be protected in Excel. You can do it in different ways to totally control where other users of your workbooks can access. It's very useful to actually protect your formulas and the layout of your shared workbooks so that others can't accidentally delete a formula or change a formula without you knowing about it because they won't be able to do it without first asking to get past your layer of protection. As you can see, I now have Excel open and we're going to look at protecting part of this customer data entry worksheet. We want to leave open the areas where we want our end users to be entering the data from new customers. So we're going to select the data entry cells. Perhaps we want to go ahead and you know give them some other formatting so that perhaps a input cell background so that we can mark those as being the ones where we want users to work. Now that we have those marked as data input cells, we're going to go ahead and launch the dialog box for format cells so we can unlock under the protection tab. So from the home ribbon I simply click the dialog launch button and now I'm going to switch to the protection tab. I've got just the cells I want to be available for data entry selected and now I'm going to click on the check mark in the locked box to unlock them and go ahead and click OK. Now that I have my data entry cells unlocked I'm going to go over to my review tab and here I'm going to protect my worksheet. The defaults are set for what is most commonly used. Things like, you know, leaving cells locked and unlocked and you don't need to go in and change the options unless you also want to con totally control formatting, inserting and deleting of rows and so on. You can enter a password here in the password box or you can simply leave it blank. It will still be protected, for example, now that I've unlocked those and protected it, if I try to do data entry here, it's not going to let me. The thing to keep in mind if you decide to use a password is make sure that you will remember what it is. That's basic worksheet. You can also protect the workbook as a whole. And here you might actually want to put a password on, but again, it is optional. And this, the default is to protect the structure of the sheet so that somebody can't come along and make modifications to it. If I do that, then I shouldn't be able to make any changes. When I come over to the file button and look under info, you can see my one customer data entry sheet is protected. I can unprotect it from here or I can go back to the review tab and that the structure of the workbook has also been locked to prevent unwanted changes. So that sums up the things we can do with protection in Excel.